Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Arcade 1-Up Ninja Turtles 4-Player Cabinet. Now, I was shopping at my local Walmart, had to grab some stuff after Christmas. I always go to the electronics aisle just to see what's on sale, and I came across these on an end cap. Now, these usually retail for $349, but at my local Walmart, they're $199 right now. I did check online and they're still listed at $349, so I'm not sure if these are on sale everywhere, but at my local Walmart, they are $199, and they actually had four in stock. Now again, just like the Marvel cabinet I recently reviewed, I had no plans on picking this up, but when I see them at this price this early, I definitely want to jump on them, especially because this comes with the riser and the four-player panel. This is one I've had my eye on for a little while, and now I'm really out of room. I do have to get rid of four different cabinets. I got two bar tops and two arcade one-up machines that I have to get rid of to make room for all of this. So in this video, I'm just going to do a quick assembly and give you my thoughts on it. I really love the idea of the four player setup here, but we still have that 17 inch screen. And this is one that I may do the 20 inch Dell monitor mod to. I'm really not sure if I want to do it to the Turtles version or the Marvel superheroes. So like I mentioned, this one does come with the riser, but it doesn't have a lit marquee. This isn't a special edition or anything like that. But this is one of the newer revisions that comes with the dual stereo speakers comes with all the hardware we need and this giant control panel for the four player setup. So yeah, the artwork on here looks fine. I mean, it's definitely not the highest quality vinyl that I've seen, but it works out perfectly if you can pick one up for around this price. It does have the new volume control unit, so we have 15 steps of volume control from within the cabinet itself, and we get the plexiglass panel. This has the protective film on it. It is completely clear. So like always, I wanted to take a deeper dive here, so I pulled the bottom off the control panel. We have the newer arcade 1-Up sticks and the newer buttons. These can be easily upgraded if you want to, but for the games we have here and the price I paid, I think it's perfect. I gotta say that arcade 1-Up has definitely stepped up their game in the arcade stick department. These are definitely cheaper sticks, but they work out a lot better than the first generation arcade 1-Up cabinets with the leaf spring design. I also wanted to take a look at the main board to see if I could figure out what CPU this is running, but unfortunately they've glued the heatsink to the CPU just like they did with the Marvel Super Heroes cabinet. I'm pretty sure I could get the heatsink off the CPU if I put a little heat on it, but I'm not going to risk it right now. I might do it later on down the road if I decide to mod this. But I recently got a hold of the Space Invaders Countercade from Arcade 1UP and I did a full Raspberry Pi mod on it. Come to find out, that cabinet was actually powered by an all-winner H3, which I suspect is powering these newer cabinets, like the Turtles cabinet here, and the Marvel Super Heroes cab. The gameplay on both of these cabs is great, and I believe it is the all-winner H3. This is a quad-core Cortex A7 CPU at 1.3 GHz, with a Mali 400 MP2 GPU at 600 MHz. Now this has plenty of power to run the games that they're using on both of these cabs. And finally, I just wanted to throw this out there. This is the model number for the 17-inch screen that's inside of this one and the Marvel Super Heroes. This screen definitely looks better than the first wave of arcade 1-ups that came out, like the Street Fighter 2 cabs. So assembly is very straightforward, just like any other cabinet, except we have that riser that's included, so you have to put that together also. But overall, everything went together without a hitch. I think it looks amazing, and this riser does make them a lot taller than I ever thought they would be. It definitely makes a big difference. It's almost five feet tall now. So this cabinet includes two games. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, and we also have Turtles in Time, the other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Both of them are in my top 10 list for my favorite arcade games of all time. So we'll go right in here and start up the first one. And like I mentioned, this does have the new volume control, so we have 15 points of volume control on this cabinet. And if you want to exit back into the menu, hold your start button for about 5 seconds. It'll close this game out, bring us right back to the main menu. So now it's time to get into some gameplay. I do notice that the dual speaker setup on this sounds really good for an arcade 1UP machine. So we're going to go ahead and play through this a little bit, and then I'll be back at the end to let you know my final thoughts on this cabinet.
So in the end, the screen looks great, the controls are spot on, I love the gameplay, and the sound with these dual speakers is really great for an arcade 1UP machine. But I do want to mention that I would have never bought this at $349 or even $399. The only reason I got it was because I found it on sale for $199, and if you can do the same, I think it's well worth $200. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I do want to add a 20-inch screen to one of these newer arcade 1UP machines that I have, be it the Marvel Super Heroes or the Ninja Turtles. If you have an opinion on it, let me know in the comments below. It'd also be really cool if you could hit that like button or maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, thanks for watching.